Today, for this week's fitness focus, I'm going to show you how to use the rowing machine. Um, the rower is a really great tool to use for a low impact, really great calorie burner workout. Um, so if you're finding that the treadmill or even running outside um, is hurting your, your joints, your knees, uh, the rower is a really great option because it's a full body workout. So to set up for the rowing, you're going to adjust the foot plates so that they're around the widest part of your foot. And it looks like it's already set up. You're going to pull the straps tight so that they're around the widest part. You're going to grab the handles with your palms facing down and your thumbs tucked under. Now when you row, the order in which you row is really important. So first you want to drive with your legs, lean with your core, and pull with your arms. So I'm going to drive with my legs, lean with my core, pull with my arms, and in return it's arms, core, legs. So I'm going to show you that a little bit faster. So drive, lean, pull, and return. So you hear that fan going. The louder that fan is, the harder you're pulling, the, more, the harder you're working. Um, some really common mistakes that I see as a coach when people row, um, one of the main ones is that you always want to make sure when you row, you bring the handlebar to somewhere between your belly button and your sternum. A lot of times I'll see people row up to here, all right, relax your shoulders, bring the handle somewhere between your belly button and your sternum as you row. So it should look like this. Another really common mistake that I typically see when people row is that you always want to lean back just slightly to get to that 10 o'clock position. Um, a lot of times people won't lean back at all or they'll lean back too much. So sometimes I'll see this. Or the other extreme, which people lean back way too far, like this. So make sure you really lean back only to that 10 o'clock position, and you want the handle to come somewhere in between your belly button and your sternum. And that is how you use a concept rower.